Welcome to this special edition tutorial for Seek Your Course. Every now and then, we need to play with our food. Let's grab a piece of watercolor paper, a brush, water and cherries. Don't eat them just yet. They will be a fine treat after finishing. Pick a couple of cherries, take off the stalks and get your hands dirty by squishing them. You'll be amazed how much juice they will give. If some of the flesh falls on your paper, just pick it up and take it out. You can see I've created a pool of colorful juice in the middle. And now I want some extra splashes and drops around it. So I just throw some drops around using the squished cherry in my hands. Then I pick up my brush to evenly spread the color. Until I'm happy with it to use as a background wash once it's dried. Now let's go wash our hands and wait for this to dry. After 15 minutes or so, some of the juice may have pulled at the sides. It'll take ages to dry and if you're as impatient as I am, you can dab some of the juice off with a tissue. As it dries, you can see the juice is becoming purplish and a bit darker. With a dense and colorful background wash like this, a black line drawing can look very good on it. The juice dried up but will stay a bit sticky, so I wouldn't recommend using a pen. Black Indian ink is perfect for the job. You can use a soft medium sized brush. I decide to stick with the theme and draw a set of cherries. Keep your lines loose and don't try adding too much detail. Without details the shape of cherries is recognizable easily. Less is more. To add a shine to my cherries I use a bit of white watercolor paint. Food is fun. Drawing food is fun. Drawing with food even more so. Thank you for watching this video. If you want to learn more, have a look at my website koshukuna.nl